Today in Stick War Legacy, we have to fight Boss Sicklerath. Fortunately, we get to command all units. We're gonna upgrade our wizard and our archer. At the beginning, you're gonna notice that there's a bunch of walls between me and the enemy base. So we've got time to work on our economy. You can see that the enemy is pumping out a lot of sickle wrath units. So I'm assuming there's gonna be a giant with a giant sickle that we're gonna have to fight. So now that our economy is almost maxed out, we have six, seven, and finally our eighth miner. We can start saving up for our first wizard. I think that's gonna be key because he is gonna produce most of the foot soldiers that are gonna help defend our army here. We have just enough to get our first one, so we're gonna pump him out. And look at that. Every gold node has two miners working for him. That is a full 100% economy right here. We are gonna produce, well, as much gold as we can without using the ability that calls for our miners to rush it. So the enemy sickles are now attacking the rock and we have just enough money to get our second wizard as our first one comes out. Now, as far as skins go, we have damage reflect via the lava skins. We probably could have chosen a better one, but this is what we've got to work with right now. So the enemy is hacking away. We've got the two wizards. I think now we want to start working on our archers who we did upgrade so that they could do as much damage as is possible. They're going to be firing behind these little spawning in minions. So it's kind of like being able to print frontline soldiers for free. And the best part about them is they just keep respawning. This is kind of getting scary though, as the enemy is really, really, really starting to hack down that wall very fast. And the boss unit hasn't even entered the battle just yet. So we've got enough money to queue up four more archers. Our guys, for some dumb reason, are shooting at that wall. I don't want to do that. I want to buy as much time as possible before the enemy gets here. This is kind of getting a little bit scary. All right, here is the battle, but we have a little bit of a modifier here with our wizards being able to... What? My army is collapsing. Retreat to the city and call out some spiritons. Now our defensive archers from the castle should be able to destroy enemy fledgling soldiers that are going to be attacking. And it'll buy us just enough time to get a few spiritons out. So at this point, we need to retake the battlefield. And in order to do that, we're going to have to kill this guy, which shouldn't be too hard given that we have a number of archers. But this is kind of interesting because I feel like the Sickle Wrath troops in Stick War Legacy, the game we're playing right now, are better than the ones that are in Stick War 3. In Stick War 3, they're very weak, it seems. But here, they seem to be incredibly strong and almost just like a Sword Wrath, if maybe not even better. Now, you're going to notice in the upper right corner, we have 23 out of 50. That's our supply cap. So we're almost 50% of the way completed here. And it is kind of weird how the enemy soldiers kind of like poop out like grape jelly you know they don't bleed they just poop grape jelly very strange very strange so the spiritons are holding a strong front line they are going to be complemented by our wizards that are about to come out because we have 1100 gold and we just need about 46 there it is well there it is in the movie jurassic park who said that line man jurassic park is such an old movie now so at this point, we want to save up for a second one. I'm curious where the boss is. I'm thinking once we attack the enemy statue and it falls to about 50% health, I think that might be when the enemy boss is going to come out. Time to attack. Our forces greatly outnumber the opponent. Well, it seems somebody's micromanaging our army a little bit, but you know what? We will follow that sage advice while we queue up a third Magikill wizard. We forced a retreat, actually, which is actually not what I wanted. Maybe we waited just a little bit too long. I wanted the enemy to fight on the battlefield with me instead of pull back. Here comes the enemy attack. We're going to retreat. We will probably lose some of our summonable minions. Oh, almost. Oh, two, three. That's actually four. That was a. That was twice as much as I thought we would lose. Is this army really all we need? Thirty-eight out of fifty unit cap. Four magic kill wizards, six archers, two spiritons, and well, a ton of minions? I don't know. It seems like a somewhat fair fight. Then again, the magic kill can respawn soldiers and summon fireball explosions to help dominate the enemy here. 
So as far as what, as what I want to do, I wish we could have a magic spell that could like force a landslide of this sand dune on top of the enemy. Or we could pray with faith and use this rock statue and it become a golem, a rock golem that would fight for us. So many possibilities. The enemy's attacking us. Well, well, well. Let us meet in glorious battle and end them. I think this is going to be kind of close. We may have waited just a little bit too long. No, we forced a retreat. Where is your chieftain? Where is your boss, Sikorath units? We didn't lose a single unit. We lost tons of minions, yes. Oh yeah, well, this guy's running back home with an arrow through his clavicle bone. That has to hurt. But as far as the number of them, I feel like we just killed them all and they're already back. Let's send in a raid. The guy's still there with an arrow sticking out of, it looks like his eyebrow. It's like a, just a kind of a weird type of a piercing. Uh. We got one of them. We got one of them. Let's nick this statue. Take it down a peg or two before tactfully withdrawing. Not retreating, tactfully withdrawing. We're about to lose our spear tins though. That could prove problematic in the battle ahead of us. So at this point, the enemy should call in reinforcements. And there he is, the giant Sicklerath guy. That thing is massive, but he's not wearing any armor. No helmet. Oh, look at him, he's hyping his men up. Okay, I see you, sir. Now, look at how much money we have. Now that we know what the enemy is, I feel confident that we can send out a champion of our own. Uh-oh, our miners. Oh, let's send a little uh, a message. Sir, would you like to sue for peace? Will you surrender to us? Oh. The old saying, don't kill the messenger, seems to have fallen on deaf ears and the giant Sicklerath guy in his army just destroyed us. Oh, they're attacking us. Uh, uh-oh. This may have been a mistake, but since he's not armored, our arrows are tearing into him. And it looks like he is going to fall and we are going to be victorious. I feel like his sickle needs to have an area of effect a big, big amount of damage that he can dish out. But instead, we have defeated the enemy and we are pushing forward. This is going rather well. And I think at this point, we can seal the deal and achieve victory. The enemy can't really retreat anymore. They wouldn't survive it. I always love fighting new boss units in Stick War Legacy. It's probably one of my favorite things about it. It's one of the reasons why I'm looking forward to Stick War 3 so much. The campaign. But if we increase the difficulty, we would probably have to change our strategy. And I think Giants and Archidens could be a very good one. Look at this, we get an arrow spell. Okay, that's definitely gonna help soften up the enemy's Sickle Wrath charge. I think what we need to do is like we did last time, get the economy going. We have a lot of people at the mining nodes. We'll hit that and hopefully that will allow us to get a little bit of income just that bit faster. There it is. Okay, 1500 gold. The giant is the biggest unit that we can field at least outside of special units like Griffin the Great or the Kai Rider or the zombie giant. Now that I think about it, there aren't any order units that are really big other than maybe just a generic giant, which I think is considered chaos. So my goal is to have two giants before this enemy force gets to this final wall, which given the fact that we're two thirds of the way there, I think is very possible. And look at this guy. He's got, you guessed it, damage reflect. That is exactly what we need in a giant. Someone who's big and tanky. And every time you hit him, you hurt just a little bit more yourself. So the enemy is not even through the first wall and we're already on our second giant. But giants can't do it alone and lots of units can swarm them and take them down. So whether or not this is a good strategy is yet to be determined. I wanna get one Spearton to sorta of create a strong front line between two giants and one Spearton. And then after that, it's queuing up the archers who we did upgrade to do decent damage. So the enemy is at the third and final wall. Uh, our archers are just now coming out, so this is getting a little bit close. And of course, our archers are now shooting at the wall. I guess that's one of the benefits of queuing up the giants well before the archers, is we didn't whittle that wall uh, down at all. 
Now that the wall's fallen, we hit attack and we hope this works. Our first giant is starting to drop quite considerably. This may not work out. But if they can kill enough of them, we probably will lose our second giant. We're starting to lose miners. Retreat! Everybody back! Let's see, I think we lost two miners, maybe three right there. Huh! That was close. We lost our giants. The enemy is sending in waves of sickle wrath, helter skelter now, but surviving that I think is going to be enough. We'll take out this guy and get back to defending. Now, how many archers do we have? More than enough. So at this point, we need to rebuild the economy. Now remember, we do have that arrow spell, but I'm thinking we may want to uh, save it for when the enemy boss is out here. He's a huge giant who's unarmored and very weak to arrow fire. So at this point, we wait, and I'm thinking save up for the giant. We need at least two of them. Now that the enemy's gonna come out, we send in the attack, and we just try to catch the AI unawares of our attack here. Look at that. Oh, they're, they're coming in. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh, they retreated right then. That was a futile charge. We took out their land army, but archers aren't strong enough to do a lot of damage against an enemy tower, or rather an enemy statue, much less be able to fight off the army that's gonna come right after that. So let's send in one more raid while we save up our money. Let's count our miners. We could get a few more. That way we'll get more gold faster. And you guessed it, get another giant. Our statue did take a beating, but it is slowly healing over time and producing passive income. So all things considered, I think we're sitting pretty there. So at this point, 1,500 gold is in the bank. We are immediately investing in another giant. Wow, the enemy can build up an army very, very fast. I think three giants is what it's going to take to break that line. But one of the other things we can do is maybe use the arrow barrage here. Then again, three giants should be able to crush that, right? Right? Oh, they want to attack us. Are you not aware of this third giant coming in? All right, we'll send in the giants to stall them. Boom, boom. Yeah, that should work. We're doing damage reflect. Vampiric lifesteal might work better for the giants too. It's really a matter of like how much. Is the damage reflection better or the life steal? Would that be better? We've got the three giants. We've got a decent amount of archers. We're queuing up even more. It is time to hit the enemy tower. They're retreating. Now remember, this is gonna be tough because we can't really retreat too easily. Our giants are slow. If we retreat, sortie boys will be attacking and stabbing at their ankles all the way back home. But we're doing 50 damage a hammer. Two of the giants are below half health. One is at three quarters. All right, pull back and then attack. Archers, you're gonna have to do something here. The enemy boss has a ton of health. As long as our front line holds, the enemy giant is still there. He's about just under half health. It looks like they're in a wrestling match. We have lost two giants. Only one is left, but one is all we need to kill off the enemy resistance and smash the rest of the tower. I, for a second, I thought that miner was chipping away at our guy's foot. And not only that, but we farmed a free spell. So mission 229 is in the books and we have 15 Archid and Rain spells now. So we're sitting pretty. Anyway, if you guys do wanna see more Stick War Legacy, pull the trigger on that like button and let me know and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.